The Lulu Carl Award was first presented in Leash soon after Lulu's untimely passing. It was developed by a group of Lulu's friends in consultation with her family and Leash County Board. The rationale behind it was to present an award every year to reflect the commitment and dedication shown by Lulu to ladies football. The awards were commissioned from Waterford Crystal and are unique pieces. In fact, they were some of the last pieces ever to be made in Waterford. She's a lovely person on the outside, but an absolutely beautiful person in the inside and everybody knew that, you know. Um, she's unique, very, very unique. And even when she was um, unwell towards her end, she gave her her time, really no problem at all, even though her own time was limited. She was unbelievable. Apart from her playing, when, when, even when she finished up playing, she, she continued on, she continued on. She would have been secretary of the club and chairperson of the club here. She was fierce, funny like. She was a real devil like and always up to stuff. She was a very um, positive kind of person. And that comes with, you know, when she was dealing with her sickness, when she cancer, and even on the football field. You know, you go to training, you'd always talk to Lulu. Everybody was around Lulu. Lulu was fun. And she, like, Lulu never missed training. So she couldn't understand how anyone else would miss training or not be there or give an excuse. Like, nothing was an excuse. I mean, you know, people would come, like, did a christening or did weddings, and Lulu would be like, but she can still come training and go to the, the wedding or the christening after. Like, it wasn't, football was number one. She'd get herself to training. If that meant thumbing to training, she'd thumb to training. She'd always get a lift. And then as she got older, she realised that there was other kids that needed to get to training. So she'd go all around the country, all around, you know, the, the, the local area and collect the kids and the other footballers for the club here, bring them to training. You could see Lulu coming in, the car be packed, jammed, music going on, loads of sweets. <laughs> that was the big thing, Lulu loved her sweets and her jellies. Yeah, Lulu was hugely competitive. So like, I wasn't that fond of marking her training, to be honest, because she pulled no punches. It was, she trained the way she played. And an Apple Green filling station, and uh, I was, a, a Monaghan lady footballer came in. I said, were you playing in 96 when Lulu stuck the one on the top of the net? She said, I certainly was, she said. And I'll never, I'll never effing forget it. She said, she cracked the whip, and when Lulu cracked the whip, the whip you hop, and that was it. <laughs> the LGFA doesn't grow out of, you know, publicity or whatever, or just grow. It doesn't just grow. That doesn't happen. It grows out of people like a Lulu. And that's why there is an award, because in fairness, the LGFA relies the value of these people to a club, to society. It, things will never be the same without her either. Do you know, she was just brilliant. But I suppose thinking of Lulu, we drive on as a club because we think of what she has put into this club over the years that, you know, we're not going to let it go. And I'm so happy she's been remembered in this way. What you can give to other people, it's giving of your time. It's being that volunteer. It's that care, she's a really, really caring side. Apart from the football, it was the, the involvement, the getting all the girls involved and, and everything. It wasn't, she loved football. She loved football, but she was a real people's person as well and a girl's person. She loved, she loved seeing girls, young girls coming along and progressing and bettering themselves or whatever in life and, and football or whatever. It's great to have an award named after Lulu and it's very appropriate to have an award named after Lulu. And whoever receives the reward, I'm sure they know Lulu or have heard of Lulu. And they must also have some really unique qualities to be a volunteer. It really does live on, you know, that light still shines, you know, and I think it's very apt to have an award named after Lulu because she is that volunteer. She was that person all the way to the bitter end. She was that volunteer.